I wish these things were bottomless and they just magically filled up like you could make something happen like that in Harry Potter or like Doctor Strange does with beer. No, they have like 48 grams of sugar in the venti size. I do not need another one. Oh my gosh. What's up s'mores? I'm Shannon Morse. Welcome to my channel all about travel and technology and today we are talking about password managers. I am totally making this video in response to the LastPass vulnerability that happened recently because I saw some folks online going, password managers are vulnerable. You should not use a password manager. <sighs> You definitely should. I'm here to tell you why in honor of Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Also, speaking of Cybersecurity Awareness Month, I have teamed up with Crash Plan to bring you a series of videos all about security and privacy online. I talk a lot about ransomware attacks on my other show called ThreatWire, which is on youtube.com slash hack5. I also like to talk a lot about data and loss prevention techniques because you need to protect your data. If you're a small business, protecting your data has to be a top priority. In fact, for me as a small business, protecting my data is definitely a top priority because if something happened to my data, I would not be able to do my job. I would not be able to make these videos for you. If I was faced with a ransomware attack, which I am very paranoid, so I take as many precautions as possible, so hopefully that will never happen, but if it did, I would lose all my data and that would not be very good at all. That's why I am happy to tell you about Crash Plan today. Crash Plan offers you peace of mind with tons of features built into the cloud-based data protection service. Data can be stored with no restrictions on file size, no additional charges for space. So if you have a NAS or if you have an external hard drive, like I do in my home for all my photography, those can be backed up too. Backups are continuous with customized file retention options to fit your needs, whatever those might be. CrashPlan uses 256-bit AES data encryption at rest, and they support HIPAA compliance needs. CrashPlan is compatible on file servers, on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and you can cancel anytime. Plans cost 10 bucks monthly per device, and that is just per device. So it doesn't matter if you have 10 terabytes or 100 gigs or something in between. All of that is included on that $10 per device fee. So if you're looking for a good backup plan, sign up using the link below for a one month free trial. Do not let ransomware hold you hostage. Make sure you have a plan with with Crash Plan, and I wanted to thank Crash Plan so much for their support of my channel and of Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Thank you. Now let's talk about password managers because people are constantly targeted because of leaked passwords from previous data breaches from other websites. If you use the same password on multiple different websites and one of those got leaked and an attacker gets a hold of it and then they try that password on all sorts of different platforms including social media and email and banking and everything in between, wherever you shop, Amazon, it doesn't matter what website. If they try that password and you have reused it somewhere else, chances are they might be able to get into your account. Now this would not be as big of a problem if you use different passwords on every single site that you want to use. Complicated? It sounds like it is because that would be a lot to memorize, but it's actually not that hard with a password manager. So what is a password manager? Well, these are online services or platforms or software that you download that allow you to store all of your passwords into one place. A password manager can also help you with generating brand new secure passwords or autofilling them into different websites or retrieving passwords for some reason or another. They can also help you with sharing passwords with other people. It's kind of like having a digital safe for all of those secure things and private things that you don't want to share with the world. The reason why this exists is because even though you try to memorize all those passwords, your brain is not a safe. It's not meant to memorize so many different things. It's very easy to forget things or it's very easy to have your memory end up being changed over time. This is a human thing that happens. It's very psychological. It just happens. So trying to memorize all your passwords just it's not gonna work. So a password manager is super convenient, it's faster, and it's also a lot more secure. But Shannon, you're putting your trust in a company. Why would you ever do that? Yes, I totally am. In some cases, 
online services, web portals, and things of that nature could definitely be hacked. They could definitely be vulnerable to some kind of flaw or bug. But password managers also come as localized versions of software. So they never have to go online and get updates or anything like that. You have to manually do everything yourself. But these can still do things like autofill and generate passwords for you. So that option is there, but the online ones that have extensions, those can definitely be vulnerable to bugs. As an example, LastPass recently had a flaw within their extension that could leak an auto-filled password with this thing called a clickjacking scenario or a clickjacking attack. That's why it is so good to use good internet hygiene. Beware of phishing attacks. Use two-factor authentication. Don't reuse those passwords and make sure that you are keeping your software updated. So how does this password manager work? Well, there is a whole range of platforms and software and brands that you can choose from when it comes to choosing a password manager. It really comes down to your comfort with using a online version compared to a local version. It also comes down to whether or not they charge a fee. Some do, some are free. So check into all of those different options and features to find one that you really like. You will download the software from the management company, from whatever brand it is, and then you wanna go ahead and set up a master password. Now this master password is basically your digital key that unlocks all your passwords. So you wanna make sure that that master password for your password manager is something that is extremely hard to guess. You probably also don't want to store it inside your password manager because if you get locked out, you wouldn't be able to access your master password. That makes sense, right? If you have the option to set up two-factor authentication on a password manager, absolutely do it, especially if they have the option to use an application like Authy or Google Authenticator or a hardware token like a YubiKey. Once you have it set up, you unlock it with your master password and your two-factor authentication code and you get into this empty platform where you can start auto-filling it or filling it manually with all of the different passwords that you use for all of your different accounts. Now I have heard the argument from friends and family whenever I try to get them to use a password manager, they say, I can remember all my passwords. Hey, that's cool. I can't. I have 300 plus accounts in my password manager, which is insane, but I also do this for a living. I set up accounts all the time, especially if I'm reviewing uh, software products or if I'm reviewing hardware products and those require me to create some new account for some reason. Even applications, those require you to set up new accounts all the time. But the nice thing is, each of those accounts has a completely different password. There is no pattern to any of them. They're all algorithmically generated to be extremely randomized, so they just look like a bunch of bits of data. All of them would be extremely hard to guess. So if one of those was hacked or if it was leaked, then if an attacker took it to another website, they would never be able to get into my other accounts with that password because it's not reused anywhere. There's no pattern associated with it. So even if they try to change like the first digit or something like that, there's no pattern associated with those passwords. So they would not be able to use that to their advantage. It would also take me no time to change it because I would just go into my password manager and choose generate new password and it would generate a new password for me that I could stick in there whenever I need to reset my password. I never have an issue with forgot my password attempts because I don't have to remember them in the first place because something else, the software, is remembering them for me. Chances are, if you are stuck on remembering your passwords, you're probably using bad password hygiene. They might be short, they might be easy to guess, you might have shared one with a friend or family member and you don't remember sharing it with them. There might be a slight variation or a pattern to your passwords, which you might think is very good, but an attacker might be able to figure out what that password uh, pattern is. Uh, if you hide them under your keyboard or hide them physically on a notepad or something like that, that. It might be fine if you keep it at home, like in a safe or a filing cabinet that's locked all the time, but if you take it with you, for example, in your purse, then it's completely possible that somebody could steal that purse or there could be a theft and that information would be in the hands of an attacker. It's a lot easier whenever you have digital access to your information to always have a backup plan and always know what accounts you own, what passwords each of those has. So if there is ever a breach or a vulnerability that you find on a different website, then you can go in immediately, fix it, and not have to worry about it. It is a very, very stress-free 
way of dealing with this kind of stuff. By upgrading to a password manager, doing yourself a favor in creating a password audit, you are securing your digital life. Now again, vulnerabilities do exist. This is why I don't store my email, my bank, or my social media passwords inside my password manager. Those do use something that I memorize, but each of those different passwords is completely different in so long that nobody else would be able to guess it. It is so nice when you use a password manager, especially on mobile, because you don't have to memorize and type something in on a teeny tiny keyboard, which you might mess up again and again and get locked out of your account. It is so nice to have a password manager on your mobile device because it'll just autofill it for you. And then you can click a button and it'll just plug in your username and your password and all you have to do is click enter and it's the most amazing thing ever. Sometimes websites don't let you autofill and then you have to like copy and paste or you have to manually type it in but it's a lot easier when you can just look at your password and type it in as opposed to trying to type it in from memorization. Now with this said about password managers I would love to know what you think of them and how you use your own password manager and if you use any kind of safety precautions like I do not storing my bank email and social media in there because those are my most vulnerable and most targeted accounts that any could actually use. Do you use an online platform like LastPass, for example, or do you use something that's a lot more localized? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know what your opinions are on password managers, and thank you again so much to CrashPlan for sponsoring this episode. Don't forget to check out my 30-day security challenge. The link is down below in case you really want to challenge yourself with your online digital security and privacy, and also make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy content just like this. I would love to know as well if you want to see more videos like this one that are kind of focused on security and privacy because that's something that I'm really passionate about so I would love to do more videos kind of similar to this. Thank you again so much to my s'mores for watching. I'm Shanna Morris and I will see you in just a few days with another video. Bye!